The defense attorneys are going to ask the judge to toss out the confessions and for two separate juries in this one. Tucker Cipriano has been to the State Forensic Center in Ypsilanti three times now for a psychological exam to determine if he's competent to stay in trial and assist in his own defense. His attorney says he may have been psychotic when he and Young attacked the Cipriano family back in April, killing his father Bob Cipriano and critically injuring his mother Rose and younger brother Sal. There's a, a wealth of information that he was abusing and using K2 and he had used that for quite some time, even a number of years. And there's some experts that uh, may come forward and indicate that long-term use of K2 could result in psychosis. And at the time of this incident, he could have been psychotic. Mitchell Young is also charged in the murder. His defense attorney wants his own jury, and he wants his client's confession tossed out. He says his client may not have voluntarily waived his rights. He had suffered a dislocated jaw and was uh, in the emergency room. He was taken from the, the scene where the police uh, took him into custody, and he went to Botsford Hospital, the same as two of the victims. Cipriano will be back in court on September 25th, Young on the 26th for hearings on the motions before Circuit Court Judge Shalana Kumar. Attorneys also say Rose and Sal continue to show tremendous improvement.